in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Thank you, great God. Worship Him in the spirit. He's here to do us good, to heal every sickness, to set the oppressed free. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is in this place. Go ahead and bless Him. Oh Lord, we thank you. You are our confidence. Let the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands and worship him. Say, Lord, I know that I will not go back the same. The Bible says he has not called the seed of Jacob vain. I will go back healed, changed, delivered, blessed. This is our confidence. Go ahead and worship him inside and outside. Jesus is alive. He's alive. And he's in this place tonight to do exceedingly, abundantly, far above above your prayer points above your faith level above your expectations yes God is a healer there's no sickness that can stand his presence bless his name Lord you reign forever Lord, you reign forever. I worship you. I worship you. Help me worship us. Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign forever. I worship you. I worship From everlasting to everlasting. I worship you. He is the living God. Come on, say. Sing, Lord, you reign.
Jesus and tell whatever situation you came here with. Say tonight, we are parting ways with you forever. Come on, pray for yourself and for your loved ones. We are parting ways with failure, with poverty, with weakness, and every limitation. Go ahead and pray. Make a paradosa fire. It shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from thy shoulder, the yoke from thy neck, and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Come on, bless him. Oh, God is mighty. His presence is mighty in this place. Oh yes. Mighty. God is mighty. I know when his presence is in this place. My father's presence. The awesome presence fills this place. Jehovah. I praise you, Jehovah. I praise. You. Come on, worship Him. I praise Your name. I praise Your name. I praise. Nothing will stand His presence. Believe me, nothing will stand His presence. Hallelujah. I tell you, God is heavy and more expectant to bless you and to meet your need. Hallelujah. God is more than able to change, to heal, to set free, to restore, to renew. It's bigger than cancer, bigger than HIV. Bigger than deaths, bigger than all kinds of curses and manifestations of demons. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to welcome everyone tonight, inside and outside, especially for those of us who came from far. Hallelujah. I want you to know that God will surprise you tonight. Pleasantly surprise you. Hallelujah. We serve a living God. He's not dead at all. He has not lost any of his ability. He's not sitting in his throne scratching his head wondering what to do. Or how to respond to the needs of his people. Hallelujah. He's almighty. He's not just the mighty one. He's almighty. All power belongs to him. Hallelujah. And I want to welcome you. I know that many of us have come with impossible situations. Blindness, deafness, all kinds of situations. Death sentences from the medical um, practitioners. All kinds of oppressions. Many of us just want more of him. I want you to know that God will meet you tonight. Hallelujah. I prayed a prayer and I told God something. I said, Lord, let not one person escape the power of your presence tonight. Hallelujah. And I tell you, none of you, none of you, you will not leave just happy with the testimony of others. No, you have not come to watch the testimony of others. God is coming to give you a testimony. Hallelujah. 
And I came here with a burden tonight. Hallelujah. Colossians, please, chapter 2. I wondered why God began to move me in this direction as I studied to prepare for this meeting. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 2. Look up, please. Do you realize that many families and many people have suffered things that they have no idea about? Now, I want you to listen carefully. Hallelujah. Because tonight we are going to be dethroning the works of darkness permanently. Are you listening to me? Let it not just be a name that you came for miracles. I came angry in my spirit. There's no, there's no time for discussion. There's no time for, for nonsense and explanations. I just want to give a, a basis. Because I came angry in my spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord began to show me how that many people and many families listen to me. Now, I understand that the Bible says we have been called from out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation. Hallelujah. But do you realize that Satan's ministry is to try to object the reality of the word in your life? Hallelujah. Although this is truth from God's perspective. Satan will not cross his legs and just watch things happen. Let me tell you something. I came angry in my spirit tonight. Because I realized that there are so many people. Hallelujah. Who are the products of the scourging tongues and the covenants and ordinances of fathers and men. There are many people who are inheriting things and families. Stepping into sufferings that they have no idea of. Are you listening to me? Are you interested in what I'm sharing tonight? Hallelujah. There are so many people who are a product of the wickedness and limitations of people. Tribes, tongues, geographical locations. And we stepped into levels of suffering that we cannot account for. Be it in your academics, be it in your life, be it in your relationship. Delays you cannot explain. Every time you pray, the wickedness of men, although it is true that the Bible says that you have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation, you still see the mark of wickedness upon your life. Hallelujah. There are families today represented in this place whose parents have not been able to walk meaningfully for decades. Hallelujah. I'm sharing with you my anger tonight so that faith will rise in your spirit. Hallelujah. There are so many people in this place. You have prayed. You have done everything you can do. Let me show you an interesting scripture. Colossians chapter 2. Let me tell you it will end tonight. It will end tonight. Many of you will be surprised. You will be surprised at the things that will happen to you. The Bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the fathers. There are so many people who are products of the covenants and the wickedness of fathers. In the old covenant, it said that God will judge the iniquities of the fathers to the third and the fourth generation. But do you realize that on account of what Jesus Christ has done, the Bible says if Colossians chapter 2 pick your Bible please because we need to challenge certain things tonight. Verse 14 blotting out every handwriting. Hold on. Look up. What handwriting? Do you realize that there are handwritings in the realm of the spirit speaking against families lives continents now please i'm not just trying to you know until god opens your eyes in the realm of the spirit it's easy to jump and claim by faith and say you are free but look at your life does it show that you are stepping into the liberty first it takes an encounter with revelation 
and then the power of God. Listen, there are some things that will not change in your life until they have a head-on collision with the power of God. Are you listening to me? He said, for the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the fathers. Because you come from a certain geographical location, suddenly you find out that you cannot move forward again. Many of you are embarrassed to identify with the places that you come from because of the stigma and the spiritual handwritings that come in these geographical locations. You did not do anything. The Bible says, through one man, all of us inherited a nature of sin. We were not there when Adam sinned. But I need you to know the Bible says tonight that the children shall not suffer the iniquity and the wickedness of their parents. Spirit of the Lord is upon me tonight to set the captives free. Blotting out the handwriting. It says an ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us and he took it away nailing it to the cross look at me you need to realize truth from god's perspective this is where a lot of believers meet every time you study the word listen to me you see reality as a finished work from god's perspective but it's not yet finished in your life it takes faith to appropriate that reality in your now otherwise although it has been established in the world you will never see it in your life this is what a lot of believers do not understand the fact that you see let me tell you something there is Kenyon people like Kenyon call it the legal and the vital side of redemption there is reality from God's standpoint from God's standpoint no man should be in hell today because Jesus has died but are there still people going to hell why hallelujah it says forever thy word is settled where it is here in the earth it's settled in the heavens it takes faith and the oppression of the word of god to make it a present day reality in your life and that's why we're here tonight bible says blotting out every handwriting and ordinances that speak against us do you realize the power of covenants and spiritual things? Do you realize in this country that there are people who are suffering for the iniquities of fathers? And although it is true that you have been seeing it all the time, that you have been redeemed, called out of every tribe and tongue and nation, it's not just enough to be aware. You must rise up by faith and take it to become your present day reality. Hallelujah. There are people who sleep at night and see people come and all kinds of initiations and demonic things that happen on account of certain things. Do you realize that there are certain parents and people who dedicated clans? Some of you are coming from royal families. You are not aware of the implication of the things and the operations that have happened there. And while it is true that in Christ you have been separated into a new lineage, it takes faith and the operation of the power of God to vitally pick you and bring you into the reality of scripture. Otherwise you will keep quoting it, but you will see in your life that these things are the mark of the past and the ordinances of the fathers. How about the delays that happen in our families? Do the people not go to church? I have a question. Are they not, have they not had the message I'm, I'm preaching now? Why are they not married? Why are things not working? Do you not realize that there are people who a step to their blessing, they will never get it. You keep pursuing it one step to your blessing. It always works for others until it gets to your point. The Bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the parents. Hallelujah. I hope you don't argue and explain away what I'm saying. Because it is very important. 
There are some of us who from 100 level till now. Have you seen people who write jam? For over 10 years, all they receive is missing script. Missing script. For reasons they cannot explain. Said the thief cometh not, but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come that he may have life. To take you out of the oppression of Satan. Hallelujah. This is why we organize special services like this. To expose people to the miracle working power of the Holy Spirit. I know many people who say, my mother had hepatitis. And for whatever reason, I have hepatitis. Many people are SS today. They innocently inherited it. And although you have seen in God's word that the blood of Emmanuel flows in your veins, but you do not see the Bible. See, listen, the Bible says we do not yet see all things under his feet, but we see Jesus. We do not see all things. God's goal is that all things come under your feet, but he said we do not yet see all things. Jesus is the proof that all things can come under our feet. And it takes faith. Hear me, friends. It takes faith. Otherwise, you will confess and confess and not see that reality. Hallelujah. Everything that does not look like the word of God in your life and in your family will give way tonight for sure. Hallelujah. Kicking you from house to house, one landlord to another, every time you call. Hallelujah. It's time for us to truly enjoy the blessings of God. Hallelujah. It's time for you to have a testimony. Not one that was stage managed. A real testimony that you take and say, this is a testament that shows that the word of God works. Hallelujah. That God will change our lives and change our families. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow is that not the testimony of many of our parents and our family people they wake up early in the morning and they sleep late at night and the only reward is the bread of sorrow but have you not read in your Bible it says whatsoever he doeth prospers am I challenging you tonight John 8. Kapo Zatabala Kaprostibala. Lord, your people will be free. All through my prayer time, God kept emphasizing and said, Let the people go. Let them be free. Free from all of these ordinances. John 8 verse 32 everyone read it one to read and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free do you realize that the truth is not an is not just an information it's a personality and ye shall know the truth not just an information you shall encounter as a man knows a woman you will know one who is called the truth and a product of your intercourse with him is freedom and ye shall know the truth i am the way i am the truth reality you will encounter a personality and the result is that no devil no demon nothing can stand many of us just see truth as information you must see truth as the presence and the activity of your personality and ye shall know the truth he says and adam knew his wife and abraham knew his wife now the bible says and ye shall know there is a mingling there is there is an intercourse with the truth as the spirit of God comes, he quickens something in your spirit. He said, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty.
liberty. Liberty from what? Ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Shall make you free. Many of you are wondering what is he saying? Go to verse <laughs> Thank you Jesus. Go to verse 36 and let's prove what we are sharing. Everybody read verse 36. One to read. The Bible says you shall know the truth and that truth will set you. Now he said if the son who is the truth sets you free. If you truly meet him and he sets you free. Then be sure that you are free indeed. If the son shall set you free. Free from every curse. Free from the ordinances of men. For if the son tonight sets you free. Truly you are free. If the sun sets you free from your disease, from that blood condition, from that cancer, from HIV, from poverty, from delay. If the sun sets you free, you are free. And so you have a responsibility to open up yourself to the truth. Spirit of truth, the Bible calls him. The one who introduces us to the presence of the truth. And the Holy Ghost is in this place. As we worship him, the Lord will set men free. Are you listening to me? Before we even start anything, I need to accomplish the first assignment tonight. Many of you will be surprised at the emancipation and the liberty that will come to you on account of this revelation. I'd like you to know, hear me, in Christ, in Christ, although you bear an Igbo, a Yoruba, a Hausa name, I need you to know that the moment you become born again, listen, listen, the moment you become born again, you are cut off, literally, not just spiritually. Are you listening to me? You are cut off from the limitations, the ordinances of the past. The Bible says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, that man is a new creation. Are you listening to me? You must realize that in Christ, your past and the ordinances of the past should have no grip. So if you come from a lineage of SS and delay, suddenly when you get born again, the first step is register that spiritual consciousness that there is a different DNA a different blood that flows the very blood of Emmanuel you belong to a new family this is not just a spiritual revelation it is truth you operate by a different kind of life the Bible calls it so way it's a quality of life that is above and beyond sickness poverty failure God's very life are you listening to me so tonight we are going to put an end to the effect and the operation of witchcraft and sorcery and idolatry and the works of men enchanters and diviners men who wake up in the morning and will know no sleep until the sons of the kingdom are in bondage but the bible says they know not neither do they understand they say they grow up in darkness and so the earth is without cause have i not said that ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes for it takes knowledge it takes knowledge tonight i'm angry in my spirit hallelujah because many of you will see that from tonight's meeting suddenly a building that has been there for seven years will be completed in two months you will begin to act under the blessing of your new family you will suddenly find out that there is acceleration there is speed there is grace there is understanding that the people that come to you in your dreams hear me they no longer can come again because you are not the same person the Bible says, blotting out every handwriting, 
every ordinance and he nailed it he nailed it he will not do it it has been done but it takes faith and every time faith is released the power of God goes into performance to cause that the word is validated tonight God is going to be setting us free I see in the spirit that we have been held back I'm telling you many of you will be so surprised many of you will have dreams tonight and you will see the victory that has happened in this meeting in your dreams many of you will suddenly many of you as I minister you will see change in the spirit leaving your loved ones that has been delaying them no job no marriage no money no movement no advancement Bible says but ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free it was known of the Nazarenes that nothing good comes out of them and when Nathaniel was told he said can anything good come out of Nazareth can anything good come out of Nazareth can anything good come out of Nazareth can anything good come out of your family your father is a carpenter your mother is a trader so what do you not realize that the blessing of the Lord has a way of lifting a man above and beyond his job and any limitation and brings him to the point where his life looks like the garden of Eden hallelujah tonight we are going to pray this is the first thing that will happen tonight and let me tell you there are many of us that this affects us even if not for your sake for your loved ones are you listening to me blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance your grandfather murdered someone and the blood cries for heaven's sake how does that concern you but until you appropriate the word you will be a victim of it Many of you will see that most of the things you call sickness are not sickness. They are activities of demon spirits that take advantage of the covenants and the ordinances of fathers. But by the power of the spirit there is liberty. So that our lives in reality confirm to what the Bible says should be our present status today. It takes an encounter with the power of God. That's why Paul speaking says, when I came unto you, I did not come with the excellency of speech, but in the demonstration of power. That your faith will not rest upon, upon the wisdom of men, but on the power of God. Hallelujah. I see mighty chains. That's what I'm seeing in a vision very mighty chains mighty chains holding homes holding families i'm just telling you what i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit and jesus said the spirit of the lord is upon me he said for he has anointed me to preach glad tidings to the poor to set the captives free to open up the doors of prison for them that are bound and to declare to them the acceptable year of god the year of his favor to give them beauty for ashes and oil of joy instead of mourning that they may be called oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified hallelujah and so we are going to pray listen you're going to pray and appropriate the word of God before the Holy Spirit begins to step in and truly cause emancipation are you listening to me you are going to pray and take the authority of God's word. And you are going to declare and say, I am born again. And that means I refuse consciously the limitations that come from my family, from the lineage. Are you listening to me? That you come from Kaduna State or Plateau State or something. And they said you are all known for drunkenness. If you do not break free, you will be shocked to find yourself doing the exact same things you are claiming you are being free from. But the Bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the fathers. Rise up on your feet, everybody. 
Are you ready to pray? Take it seriously. We are going to pray in the next five minutes. I like you to pray. Pray in your spirit and begin to declare the children shall not suffer. Just pray and say, Lord, tonight I open up myself. Enough is enough. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm stepping into the grace and the blessings. That lineage of failure, that lineage of delay, that lineage of poverty. Make sure you pray. Pray. Declare that in Christ He has blotted out every ordinance that speaks against me in the realm of the Spirit. It has been blotted out by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Say, Satan, you have no part in my life, no part in my body. Not over my family. Tonight is a night of emancipation For the children Shall not suffer The iniquity of the fathers Hallelujah Listen Listen I see a great sword with fire Spinning in the spirit Listen And as I begin to declare That sword I see it in the spirit It will literally step in And cut men free Are you listening to me? As I begin to declare Take it off Ushers, remove those beats from her. Remove it and bring it. Remove it and bring it. Bring them. Can you see what I'm saying? Bring it. Bring her here For if you can come before his presence You will never be able to approach him There is fire that stands between me and you There is fire You will never be able to come In the name of Jesus If I be a servant of God I command that devil Come out now In the name of Jesus Hallelujah. She wants to run away. Oh, see how cheap Satan is. Hallelujah. Give me water. Give me water. Boy, if I be a servant. Now. Be a servant of God. For I declare your freedom. That root, that devilish thing in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
for the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the parents. Jane, Jane, your name is Jane. Who is Jane? Jane. There's, there's no Jane in this place. Come. For your time of freedom has come. Hallelujah. I see something that looks like a rotten egg upon you. Your head. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. That drives people away from you. It has driven many people away from you. But by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. In the name of Jesus. I roll it away from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there someone with the name Gabriel? Gabriel. Your name is Gabriel. Gabriel. Inside and outside. Gabriel. I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Hallelujah. Is there someone here from Opobo? You are from Opobo. Quickly come. A lady from Opobo. A lady from Opobo. Who is that person? Please run out. A lady from Opobo. You are from Opobo. Where is your father? There's no mic. Where? Where's your father? What's he doing? He he's a principal. He's a principal. Yes, sir. I see a sword of destruction. Listen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. That's what I see. A sword of destruction yes, coming upon him. And there are certain blessings that your family should have stepped into by now. Every time your father walks, a lot of people are against him. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So many people. In fact, he's fighting with somebody even over that current position. Yes, is that correct? Yes, sir. Do you know me? No, sir. You see, when God brings this, th these things are satanic and demonic ordinances. But tonight, God sets him free. God sets him free. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I command freedom. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. God is touching people. For you will not live after the prophecy of your name, saith the Lord. Tonight he sets you free. Now, in the name of Jesus, freedom for you. Freedom for you. In the name of Jesus. Freedom. Freedom. Freedom for you. In the name of Jesus. Now look at me. I don't know why I'm doing this, but God is instructing me. To. There are some of you, your parents gave you things. Whether things like this or whatever. If you belong to that category inside and outside. Whether you pray in tongues to the roof, just come out. There are objects that have been given to you. By your parents or by some kind of people. Please come out. There are a group of people like that. It's time for God to set you free. Quickly, don't sit down, don't delay don't sit down don't delay things were given to you some of you were taken to the houses of certain people i'm just flowing as the holy spirit is giving me instructions quickly don't sit back i know there's one of you it was when you were coming into school you were coming into school something was given to you like a coin that's what i'm seeing please come quickly 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 let them come out quickly inside and outside the Lord shows me. Hallelujah. This is not all of them. Please come, especially outside. I see some of you outside. You were given these objects. Come quickly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
at me. How many of you are in possession of what was given to you? Does any of you have it here? Go and destroy it. Are you listening to me? Go and destroy it from your boxes, from your notebooks, from everything. But I'm going to pray for you. All of you come. Pray for you that you'll be set free. Blotting out. When Gideon said, where are the miracles that our father said were done? He said, go and destroy the idols. And then you will see those miracles again. I want to pray for you. You are born again. There's no dispute about that. But these are things. When you give Satan entrance, I don't know why God is moving this way. Just let us flow. It's time to deal decisively with some things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The lady raising her hands. Please come, call her. That lady praying, raising her hands. Yes. Come. have been oppressed you have been oppressed much Satan has taken advantage of you and you cannot speak it to anyone because of a lot of fear is that true does it make sense what I'm saying do you want to be free tonight do you want to be free you know what I'm saying right does it make sense to you do you want to be free I want you to shout Jesus look at me open your eyes just shout Jesus as loud as you can. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Jesus! <laughs> For it ends in your life. I see a spirit that comes to you at night. Is a woman. I command that devilish spirit to leave you. You have been oppressed. You can't share it with anyone. But you have been oppressed and it's affecting you even in your work I command that you are totally free right now in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah there's someone you have a problem with your truth it has been like uh, like mucus or catar but it has been there for years you're the gentleman come But you know you need to be born again and be very serious with God huh? and stop all the things you are doing do you smoke do you drink what do you do you are working with a company and you cheat them I always having fever when I go to test they will not see anything just I go to prayer houses. You have you have not just gone to prayer houses. You have gone to all kinds of places. Is that correct? Yes. You have gone to native doctors. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. What did they tell you? They will just tell me say it's attack. They will tell you it's attack. Yes. Satan will always tell you the problem. He will never give you the solution. Always tell you it is your mother's husband's brother's sister. So what is the solution? You say go and come back. Bring cow, bring goat, or bring 100,000. You believe you'll be free now? Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Out of him now. Now. In the name of Jesus. Or you will wake up sound no more sickness in your life just lay your hands on your throat you will literally feel like fire going through it in the name of Jesus mm. <laughs> be free now in the name of Jesus
you will cough once and then you will be free by the power of the Holy Spirit. You too. The Lord is showing me. Um, okay, we'll try to be fast. They operated you. Listen, you went through surgery. Until today, the place is still paining you. In fact, you cannot bend. Who is that person? You went through surgery. 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 If, if you are that person, just climb up here and wait for me. In the name of Jesus, I release you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please minister to her, John. I believe God will show you some other things about her. There's no time. Come, Charles. Even my child, God says his wife in the name tears. of Jesus Christ. Be set free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free now. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free now. What's wrong with you? Surgery. You are the one who went through surgery. Where? How old is that one? Okay. 22. Let me pray for you. The Lord to give you in the name one. of Jesus, I set you free. Let that pain go now in the name of Jesus. Who is with the surgery? Okay, come. Surgery. I command the pain to heal now, right now, instantly, right here, right now. Let the pain heal, let it go. You will search for it and you will not find it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, if you have any growth, lump on your breast, please, instrumentalist, lump on your breast, any cancerous growth, listen, inside and outside, there is an anointing to heal this. And right now in the name of Jesus, I command every lump and every growth to dissolve in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every growth, every lump be gone now, this moment, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Dissolve, be gone in the name of Jesus. Check yourself. Check yourself. Make sure you check yourself. Miracles are happening. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Every blood disease. Blood disease. Blood disease. God wants to heal blood disease. I hear hepatitis B. If you are if you are suffering from hepatitis B, right now where you are, lift your hands inside and outside. If you are suffering from hepatitis B, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I declare, be healed now. I command it to leave your blood forever. Let the power of God touch you. Be free from hepatitis B. In the name of Jesus. Peptic ulcer. If you have any kind of ulcer, lift your hands right now. Ulcer. Ulcer. Any kind of ulcer inside and outside. Any kind of ulcer. Hold on. There are some of you that you literally feel like throwing up every time you eat. And you went to the hospital and they told you there are wounds. Um, I know there are a number of you. At least three of you. They confirm that there are wounds. Who is that person? They told you there, that you have wounds. When you eat, you throw up. Who are you? You come. Hallelujah. Now, because of time, before we give anyone, please, ministers, what will happen is, we'll just move to the crowd. Please move to the crowd by the Spirit and just minister to the people. As I speak to you, the power of the Holy Ghost will come upon you. Make sure you lay your hands on your chest. Lay your hands on your chest. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God touch you now. Let it touch you now. Be free. Let the wound go. 
Let it be healed now. Let the wound go. Let it be healed now. Let the wound go. Be healed now. Let the wound go. Be healed now. Let the wound go. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Make sure you check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Rosaline. I'm hearing the name Rosaline. 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 Your name is Rosaline. Rosaline, come. Yes, I'll pray for all of you, but this is the lady I want to see. Come, quickly. Come. For the fire of God has been upon you right from when you were outside. And now let that fire engulf you once and for all permanently. You will step into an unusual level of grace. An unusual level of prophetic insight. As I touch your eyes, fire will fall upon your eyes. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, that fire will cause you to begin to see visions. In the name of Jesus. Rosaline. All of the Rosaline. Please come. Hallelujah. Just come line up here. Hallelujah. God wants to end delay in your life. That's what I hear. Delay. As I lay my hands upon you, I want you to believe that the power of God sets you free. Delay. Go. Now in the name of Jesus. Delay. Go. Now in the name of Jesus. Delay. Go. Now in the name of Jesus. Go now in the name of Jesus. Go now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Maria. 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 Have you been thinking of marriage? She's laughing. It's always embarrassing by the <laughs> For Jacob prayed a prayer and said, The smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed. I pray that let a fragrance come upon you and that soon enough you will get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Silence, speak no more and rest. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, ear problem. God is going to be healing ear problem right now. Whether partial deafness, please. If you came with someone who is completely deaf or partially deaf, you can put your right hand. Or if you've had there, there's one of you that feels like there's water in your ears. It has been like that for a long while. Just put your hands there. I want to pray. And take authority over every kind of deafness. Hallelujah. Now in the name of Jesus, I command deafness, whether total or partial deafness, be healed in the name of Jesus. Deaf ears be open. Pop open now. In the name of Jesus. Now check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. I command every deaf ear. Inside and outside. To pop open right now. In the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to listen. If you believe what I'm about to speak into your life, you will be very surprised. This is for the ladies. Well, also for the guys, but mainly for the ladies. The Lord says I should speak over those who want to get married between now and the next two years. Two years. Two years from now is what? 2014. 14. In the name that is above all names. This is for ladies. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Don't give me all the excuses in your family. That's none of my business. Hallelujah. You're getting married between now and the next two years. Please lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every barrier of delay, whether to find the person for you or for the person to find you right now, let the fragrance of favor come upon you in the name of Jesus. Let the fragrance of favor come upon you in the name of Jesus. I separate you from everything that drives people away from you. I drive everything that drives people from you. Sete barataya. As surely as the Lord liveth. As surely as the Lord liveth. As surely as the Lord liveth. Be free. For none shall want her mate. Hallelujah. Now, if any of your loved ones is looking for a job or you are looking for a job in this place, please lift your hands in faith. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, almighty God. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, hey, you are worthy Lord. And by the spirit inside and outside they are ministering to some of you now I command if you are looking for a job or your family member has been driven from jobs in the name that is above every other name or you are even looking for a change of job for yourself or for your loved ones in the name of Jesus I release miracle jobs. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I release it to your family members in the name of Jesus. Miracle job for your father. Miracle job for your mother. Miracle job for your loved ones. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. If there's anyone, listen. If there's anyone that owes your father or your mother or a contract they have done and have not been paid, you will see what God will do for you right now. Are you, are you listening to me? For he said, I will restore Kababato Sopa. Rande Boko If your loved ones, maybe is a contractor, or you are owing, whether it's government or an individual, someone is owing your parents, supposed to give them money. Right now, in the next 14 days, in the next 14 days, I release it in the name of Jesus. In the next 14 days, receive it. In the next 14 days, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. 
There are three people here. Your elder brothers were driven from jobs. One of you, your elder brother is a banker. Is a banker. There was a financial situation. You are a lady run out here. Your miracle is waiting for you for your brother. Run out with joy and gladness. I prophesy that in the name that is above every other name, if God be God, I call them back to be reinstated with their full benefit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, they will be reinstated with their full benefit according to the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, we want to release miracle children. Miracle children. Listen. Whether it's your mother or your sisters or you, I don't want to know the story. Even if you don't have a womb, you are going to give birth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We had a testimony. Um, where is Selena? Is she here? She's not here. She would have testified about a family. Listen, for eight years, eight years, that family was buried. And one time we brought prayer requests and we prayed on it. And the woman got pregnant with triplets. 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 They are all alive. I have the cup in my house. I have the cup on the plate. In the name that is above all names. The Bible says, and he opened the womb of Hannah. And he opened the womb of Rachel. Receive miracle babies in the name of Jesus. Receive miracle babies. In the name of Jesus, for your loved ones, I release it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Every closed womb in this place, I prophesy according to the hand of the Lord. Let every closed womb be opened now in the name of Jesus. Even if it is as a result of your past and you lost a womb, God is merciful. We give you a brand new wife right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Death. Death. Bible says you shall lend to many nations. There are many parents, families, business people who are in debt. And you are in a kind of debt that only God can deliver you. You know it. Hallelujah. I see someone, your father was involved in something. The exact figure is 476,000. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. 476,000. Your father is owing. Do we have that person here? Hallelujah. If we do not have, we'll just pray. 400. And what did I say? 476,000. That's the exact money. I don't know. It's like, a, it looks like a cooperative society. Or something that he collected money from. Hallelujah. But I pray for any family here that is in the bondage of death. Listen to me. The Bible says in 2 Kings chapter 4, 476,000. Exact figure. 476. Come. See how precise the Holy Spirit can be. That's the exact amount your father owes. Or you. Your father, you believe God is a miracle worker? Do you believe it? You will come back and testify. I command, listen, listen. There are two people. One, his name is Emeka. I see a man called Emeka. He's going to help your father. He will give him 218,000. 
Are you listening to me? Listen to me. And then the remaining balance will just come some outstanding monies and he will clear it. Are you listening to me? In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that death is cancelled over your father in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Your sister is wedding on the second Saturday of August. Second Saturday of August. Your sister is wedding on the second Saturday of August. Who is that? Come. Second Saturday, exactly second Saturday of August. Your sister is wedding second Saturday of August. Go back and tell her that she should not worry about the money. Are you listening to me? That God will provide. The second week of next month, God will give them a miracle. Are you listening to me? The second week of next month, God will give them a miracle. That they should not worry about the money at all. For I see that the man is greatly depressed because of finances. And for you, let God put a new fire, let him put a fresh fire in your spirit for the things of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Worship him. All of you come up and hold your hands together. Just play the strings, Steve. So, for you will fly like eagles, say at the Spirit of God. For you will fly like eagles. You will step into a new level of anointing, a new level of grace. Hallelujah. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is going to move from my right down to my left at the count of three. One. Two, three, receive it now, all across, in the name of the Lord Jesus, let the power of God rest upon every one of you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, step into new levels of grace, new levels of anointing, new levels of power, media department, all of you come hold your hands together, members of the media department. All the members of the media department, come out, hold your hands together. For you will receive of the spirit of Bezalel and you will begin to function in unusual levels of creativity. At the count of four, the power of God will come upon you. One, two, three, four. Receive it right now from my sister moving down across the head of department receive it in the name of the lord jesus christ great creativity receive it fire upon your brains creativity beyond your capacity these ministers let's begin to flow impartations will begin all of you lift your hands as we move by the spirit the fire of god will begin to fall upon you right now. Baptisms, let gifts be stirred. Instrumentalists, please get on your instruments. Hallelujah. Pastor William's wife. The Lord is speaking to me about an opportunity and a door that will be opened. That's what God is showing me. A door and an opportunity. And Lord, let the anointing prepare her. For that time, I see a ring of fire rolling above your head. That's what the Lord shows me. And Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, on usual levels, in the name of Jesus, hope on usual level of creativity over your cake. There's fire upon you. Creativity is coming like a ring of fire upon your head. In the name of Jesus, you will begin to see ideas of cakes in your dreams. Receive it by the Spirit. 
in the name of Jesus. Now this row, all of you in this row, just this row, lift your hands. Lift your hands, all of you in this row. At the count of seven, there will be an impartation, the prophetic, the apostolic gifts of healing. Diverse gifts to be released. I see an angel is going to move like a sword at the count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. This row. Receive it. Parapo Shotobai. Receive it. Let it move like fire. Let it move like fire. Across 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 like fire. Like fire. Like fire. It's going to move like a sword. Right now. At the clash of the cymbal. Let the power of God move. Now. Move. Now. Move. 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 Move, move, move across, behind, move like fire, behind, behind. Let the angel move right to the back. Hallelujah. All of you outside, all those outside, lift your hands. There are two angels standing outside. One in front, one at the back, giant angels. They will move at the speed of light. That's what the Lord shows me. Pariketea. All of you outside, there is a ring of fire and it will fall upon you at the count of three. One, two, three. Receive it. Receive it. Let it fall. Let it fall like fire, like fire, like fire, like fire. Go shot to Let it fall. All of you outside, in front, in front, like fire. Let it fall on you. On you, like fire. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Steve Strings. The Lord says the doors of the south are open up to you. By the hand of the Lord. The doors of the south are open up to you. You will play and you will see healings and miracles. I see a strong anointing coming upon you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release it upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. God is going to increase the supernatural experiences and the visions of people right now. I'm just flowing as God is showing me. Steve Strings is going to begin to play the strings. Listen. The moment that happens, for many of you, instantly, your eyes will be open to the spirit. Your eyes will be open to the spirit. Instantly. Hallelujah. Go ahead and pray, Steve. Let visions... Let the portals of visions be unlocked. The young man, see visions. See visions. See visions. See Jesus high and lifted up. Better realm of the prophetic accuracy in vision. Open to the spirit. Let your eyes be 
be open. Let your eyes be open. Let your eyes be open. Let your eyes be open. Now, hallelujah. Inside and outside. Last week, I believe that they took out time to minister to those who are not filled with the Holy Ghost. But I'm aware that there may still be some people if you are not filled with the Holy Ghost with evidence of praying in tongues, wherever you are inside and outside, lift your hands. There's no time to explain to you. We we'll explain it in another teaching. Now listen. The power of God will overwhelm you. I don't need to tell you anything about your mind. There's no time to explain anything. Are you listening to me? And suddenly, the moment that happens, everywhere in this building, let's begin to pray in tongues for the next five minutes. The power of God will come upon you. Release yourself and begin to pray in tongues. The moment I shout receive, you will be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Right where you are, you begin to pray in tongues. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, receive now where you are. Receive. Begin to pray in tongues. Receive. Receive. Begin to pray in tongues. Receive. You're praying already. You're praying in the spirit. Receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost with evidence of praying in tongues. Receive the baptism. Let's begin to pray all over this building. Eliam Bras Cavalier, Rapoco to Pegate, Reco Bras Cavas, Rapate, Reco Bros Tosha. Receive, 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 receive like fire upon you, Poroso Parica, Santa Baba Baba, Roco Ponecata. Hallelujah. In the days of signs and wonders, brothers and sisters, I hope you have faith to hear the things that you will be hearing. There is a lady, listen, there is a lady. You have not told this to anybody, listen. You are here, you don't have a fallopian tube. You don't have a womb totally. There is nothing in you that tells that you are a lady. You have carried, I'm not going to ask you to come out. You have carried this for years. Right now, in the name of Jesus, wherever you are, a brand new womb, brand new fallopian tube is released to you. Receive it now, 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 right now. Now, we'll soon round up. I know that God has done great things. God has been moving, ministering to people. Stroke, be healed. Amen. Stroke, be healed. Amen. Stroke, be healed. Amen. If you came here with stroke, get up and begin to walk. Do what you couldn't do. If you came here with stroke, Get up and begin to do what you couldn't do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are in a relationship and 
day and night you sleep in the guy's house you sleep with him every time you've aborted many times the Lord shows you mercy tonight but with that mercy comes a strong warning I see you where I'm standing but I will not call you out take caution blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked nor stands in the way of sinners nor sits in the seat of scoffers say but his delight is in the law of the Lord nevertheless the foundation of the Lord standeth sure having this seal the Lord knoweth them that are his and let every man that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity say but in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver but of wood and of clay say some are unto dishonor some are unto honor say if a man will purge separate himself that man will be a vessel unto honor meat for the master's use ladies vow and make up your mind that no man will sleep with you until you are married are you listening to me make up your mind don't say it does not matter make up your mind make a serious decision Make a serious decision. The Lord shows you mercy tonight. The Lord shows you great mercy. The Lord shows you mercy. Hallelujah. Don't get up and go to a guy's house by 10 a.m. He's calling you by 11 and say, come now. And you enter his room and see him on boxers. Even if he's playing Don Muen, back out. Go out. say it doesn't matter what is the meaning of that someone is lying down on the bed with boxers and you two you are relaxing and lying down loosely and carelessly 11 30 in the night and he says well just let's just you sleep by this side i'll sleep by that side creflo dollar wrote a book go and buy it playing with fire that's a good book to read Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Enough is enough from running away from the Lord. Hallelujah. You have been hearing his voice many times. But you have hardened your heart for whatever reason. And you have struggled. And the Bible says, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest you're here inside and outside and you're hearing the voice of the lord tonight you have seen the works that the spirit of god is doing i introduce you to a new life and a new beginning the bible says for god so loved you that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever will believe in him will not perish but have eternal life enough is enough do you know these people are under open heavens they are literally caught up to the third heavens this is what used to happen in the meeting of one of God's generals called Maria Woodward Eater she was the one who introduced presence evangelism where people would shock look at this girl in her present position Paul said I was in the place I do not know whether in the spirit or in the body but I saw and I heard things that are not permitted to be said in this realm. Let the Bible come alive unto you. For Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. So inside and outside, I'd like you to leave your seat and run right now. Or you have given your heart to the Lord at one time. But you have found yourself derailing. There is love for you. There is no condemnation. No man condemns you. All of us stand up on your feet. This is the greatest miracle in this place. Everybody inside and outside. Please let's have them out. Jesus is calling you into a new beginning and a new experience. Leave your seat and come out. Appreciate them. Clap for them. Inside and outside. The Lord is calling you into a new life and a new relationship. Run out. Leave your seat and come. God bless you. God bless you. They are coming. God bless you. Appreciate them. Appreciate them. Keep clapping until they come. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. That's why he brought you. Keep clapping for them. Appreciate them. Appreciate them. 
Jesus is calling you. There is a harvest tonight. All of you outside, all of you come to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Ushers direct them. Run to Jesus. It's a new beginning. He will give you a new life. He will give you a new life. Oh, oh, oh. Run to Jesus. The Lord is calling you. Some of you are still seated. God is calling. Leave your seats and come. Leave your seats and come. It doesn't matter what you have done. God still loves you. Young and old. Leave your seats and come. will be written in the Lamb's book of light tonight. Hallelujah. Please just say, Dear Lord Jesus. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. I come to you today knowing that I'm a sinner. I ask that you forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me from all my sins. I receive the salvation that comes from you. I accept the finished work You've done from today I'm born again I'm the child of God in the name of Jesus father we pray in the name of Jesus please just lift up your hands okay as I pray with you father I ask that Lord in the name of Jesus Christ you establish them I pray that God you will cause them to walk with your spirit let your spirit rest with them I ask that the angels of God will walk with them help them to grow in you I ask for a hunger for your word and a hunger for prayer, Lord. I ask that God, you will help them have a vital fellowship with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We welcome you to the biggest, the greatest family. God's own family. God's own family. I don't know who you are, but Jesus loves you. Are you listening to me? I don't know who you are, but Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. This is the beginning of a new start for you. Look at me. Never leave him. He will make the best out of you. Do you understand? It doesn't matter what you have done. He will make the very best. Forget about the past. Forget about yesterday. You are not the same person yesterday. For you have done many things. Say the Lord. But he forgives you. And you will still be famous, but for a different reason. That's what the Lord says I should tell you. You will still be famous, but for a different reason. Look at me. The Lord says I should tell you, for many will be surprised that you are born again. And it will make many to come to the Lord. Many will be surprised. Father, thank you preserve them. Brothers and sisters, look at me, all of you. This is the greatest decision. Are you listening to me? I love every one of you. I wish we can walk and hug all of you one by one. Listen, do not leave Jesus. Not for anything. Not for anything. Make sure this is not just an emotional decision that you are making because of the miracles you have seen. Hallelujah. This is called power evangelism. Using signs and wonders to bring you to Jesus. Are you listening to me? But I need you to love him more than that. There is nothing you desire more than that. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. 
because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.